guys, so I'm a little stressed out right now to be honest with you. This morning I woke up and while I was eating my breakfast, John came in and he's like, hey, guess what? My dad loaned me a little bit of money so that we can leave for Minnesota. Let's try to leave by tonight. And so now I'm kind of like, ah! you know, I'm excited to leave for Minnesota and that we don't have to wait until next week sometime and we don't have to shorten our trip but I haven't prepared anything to go yet because I wasn't planning on it. So I got a couple errands that I gotta run today and I still gotta pack, I gotta wash my hair because my hair is gross. So yeah, I just feel like I got to get all this stuff done in just a few hours. So I was browsing around Target the other day and I found a rack of maxi dresses that looked really, really long. And that's a problem of mine. My legs are too long for a lot of maxi dresses. So I pulled one out here and I tried it on and it was really long. Like a lot of them look so short on me and I'm like, wow, a maxi dress from Target? That's actually long enough for me. So I bought it and then I got home and I was looking at the tag and it was maternity. So I'm like, really? I just bought myself a maternity dress? <laughs> so. Basically, I'm not totally in love with it. I think I just bought it because it was long and it kind of weirds me out that I'd be walking around wearing a maternity dress when I'm not pregnant. So I'm running to Target real quick to return this dress. Just in and out, real zippy. So basically, I really wanted a maxi dress for Minnesota. I love maxi dresses. They're just, they're so cute. They look good on most people. Easy to throw on, cool in the summertime. It's just my body's so weird. I can never find one that fits me right. So I'm at the mall in Riverside hoping that I can find one that's actually that actually fits me right and is cute and like the pattern and everything. So I'm trying my luck with a more expensive brand. I have a gift certificate left over from Christmas for Nordstrom's. So I'm gonna use that because I really want a maxi dress for Minnesota. So I'm gonna check out Nordstrom's and see if I can find a good one. I really need open-toed black high heels too. All of mine are dead, totally. You know the average life of a shoe is six months? And I can't afford it today. Maybe when I'm in Minnesota. Maybe I'll get some for my birthday. This one is really cute. It seems like it might be long. Looking at more here. They're all pretty expensive though. Well, this one, I couldn't even find a price tag on it. You know what they say. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Nah, I'm just kidding, not at Nordstrom's. That's like more high-end boutiques in Beverly Hills. Hmm, Betsy Johnson, maybe. Is it a little too, I'm not sure. Wicked long, but a little too crazy. And look, the boobs are kind of weird. Why is this here? Why is there a hole to be like <laughs> Like alien jumps out. <sighs> well, I found nothing that did nothing but make me depressed. Cause I'm like skinny, skinny, skinny everywhere except my hips. So dresses are like impossible for me to look good in because I'm like shh, shh, shh. And it bugs me. All right, well, I'm gonna check out shoes since I have my gift certificate. Maybe I can find the black pair of open-toed high heels that I wanted. Well, that was a fail on the dress, but at least I found a pair of shoes that worked. I'll show them to you guys when I get home. But uh, I kinda, I really wanted a dress to wear on my birthday, cause I'm gonna be in Minnesota for my birthday in the first time in forever. But I don't know, maybe I'll end up going shopping before that and find something that works and maybe it'll be a better day. I'll keep up my diet and exercise and my body hangups won't get to me some other day. I don't know. Anyway, I need to go and stop and get crickets so I can feed the reptiles before we leave and I'll catch you guys when I get home. But yeah, they don't let me film in the reptile store. I went in there with a camera once and they're like, no filming in here. So putting the camera away for a while. Oh, you do. You wanna go to Minnesota, you go see mom and pa. And go to the cabin, and go swimming, and play in the woods. I think they know. I think they know we're going to Minnesota. All right, guys, so we're gonna head out to Minnesota today. Got some of my stuff packed up there. I've been cleaning the entire house, you know, did all the dishes, folded some of the laundry stuff while Nikki was out. Um, just picking up, getting ready to go. I uh, hand washed uh, the car that we're not taking. We're gonna put it in the garage for the month that we're gone. Um, you know, so nothing happens to it outside while we're gone. Uh, I vacuumed all out, it's all clean, so when we come home it'll look real nice. And I'm just kind of organizing everything, cleaning up the kitchen, getting everything ready to go. We got the cooler over there, all that good stuff. Um, we'll be headed out to Minnesota 
pretty quick here as soon as Nikki's done packing. I'm pretty much all ready to go. I've got my Xbox packed up, I've got my computer packed up, got all the camera stuff ready, got all my clothes, all the car stuff that I'm going to need. Um, and I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited. Are you excited, Kenobi? Kenobi's really happy. He loves the cabin, and he also loves being in Minnesota, so it should be a good time. Okay, got to make sure the reptiles are nice and full before we leave. Feed them their crickets. Hey, how are you guys? Hungry? Bet you're hungry. It's been a minute since I fed you last. Yum. Crickets. Oh my god, at that hair flying away. There's like, that was nothing. <laughs> Did you just finish? Uh, well, I'm gonna try to get as much hair off of him as I can. Oh my god! <laughs> Back here! He loves so us crazy. so much. He doesn't know he's getting hair, he just thinks that we love him. Yeah, John wanted to give Kenobi a brush before he gets in the car. I'm trying to get rid of some of this hair before we go. Yep. Which I'm being, doing a pretty good job at, I think. <laughs> so I just took a shower and washed my hair. I'm gonna be in the car for a couple days and my hair was getting kind of gross, so I needed to. Didn't think I'd get a chance to wash it for a little bit until we get to Minnesota. So now I'm trying to pack up. Ooh, I, I'll show you guys the shoes that I got. Uh, so these here are the black heels that I got from Nordstrom's. I like them. Gizmo. She's like weirded out that you're bringing laundry in here. Zoom, bye Gizmo. <laughs> Aphrodite. Meow. Oh, that's nice and warm. I bet you like that. So of course trying to pack is being difficult because I'm a girl and I'm like, oh, I have no clothes, Bleh. nothing to wear. Well, it's not that, it's just like, I feel like I've worn everything in my closet a billion times. So trying to pick some stuff out to bring to Minnesota. I guess I have, a, I could maybe wear this dress one day. I think that dress looks okay on me. I'm freaking out. Why? Why is there always that one shirt that you can't find anywhere? I'm digging up through all the laundry baskets in my closet, can't find it, and I really wanted to wear this shirt. And sorry my hair looks really funny. I know I look like Beethoven, my hair dries weird. I don't understand. Not in there, not in there. Thor, did you do something with my shirt? Did you? Thor. I'm talking about that black shirt. It's white, it has some white on it. It's from Express. It's a little longer in the back. Did you put it somewhere? Will you help me find it? Go on, find my shirt. Find my shirt. Find it, buddy. Go find my shirt. Kenobi, you excited to go? Excited to go for a road trip soon? To Minnesota. <laughs> Did you hear John upstairs? It's so like, Thor won't find your shirt, but Lola will find your panties. Yeah, Lola likes to chew on my underwear. She's a pervert. Isn't that right, you pervert? She looks so ashamed. She's like, I'm not the pervert. Me? Huzzah, I found my shirt. It was like in the back corner of my closet there. Like really weird that it was all the way back there. So now I'm just waiting on a couple more things in the dryer and I'm ready to go. Look, I can't believe that balloon is still floating up there. Isn't that crazy? I feel like that's a ridiculously long time for a balloon to be afloat. <gasps> what if it's still up when I get back, when we get back from Minnesota? Probably not though, but it would be cool if it was just like a magic balloon. You know, when I fill up your bowl with that much food, Aphrodite, that's in case something happens to the house sitter and she accidentally can't make it for a couple days in case of emergency. It does not mean you eat all that food at once, you fat ass. Gotta get a start on it. Big, big pile. <laughs> she was so excited when I poured that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think we told her. Called her out. Yeah, she's like, fine, jerks. Yeah, I don't want to go to Minnesota with you anyways. That's right. Just walk home. That's right. Don't stop at that stop sign. Yeah, me and Nikki just got in a huge fight. Right, Thor? Yep. 
No, just kidding. Nikki's gonna walk over to the gas station to get some candy. Um, I'm gonna get some chicken nuggets at McDonald's quick because I haven't eaten anything all day and I'm really hungry and I think some chicken nuggets would be a pretty good snack for the road. Uh, but we are packed up. Kenobi, you ready to go to Minnesota? <whistles> Kenobi, Kenobi, you ready to go to Minnesota, big dog? Yeah. Thor. Thor, you ready to go to Minnesota? Sorry, you ready to go to Minnesota? Oh, we're ready to go to Minnesota, woohoo! I'm really excited about this. It Hello. really took you that long to order? Yep. I was like, oh crap, the lady can see me walking through the flowers, but I'm like, I don't know where else to go. Ah! I'm sure she cares. Get out of my flowers! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hey, McDonald's kids. is known for their la landscaping. <laughs> Well guys, we've made it to Nevada. It's dark out now, so I figure now is a, as good a time as any to wrap up this vlog. We're gonna drive all through the night, and I will turn the camera back on in the morning. It's gonna be a long trip. Always remember guys that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Hand sanitizer? No. <laughs>